Hi, this is really just a limiting reactant problem mixed with a pH problem. Let me show you how to do this one. Uh, this is how you do it. First of all, you see that you're mixing two chemicals. So that means we're going to need a chemical equation. So let me get this nice and big over here. Here's the chemical equation. Nitric acid, that's HNO3. And what else is that? Barium hydroxide, that's BaOH2. Okay. And I have to make the products myself, so I'll do the double displacement thing. H and OH will go together. Ba and NO3 will go together. Now Ba is a 2 plus thing, so it has to be NO3 2, because NO3 is a 1 minus thing. And HOH is really just H2O, so I'll just write it like this. Whoops. Actually, I think I'm going to balance it first and then write H2O. So let's balance it first. So I've got an H here, an H here, an OH here, and well, I need two OHs here because there are two OHs there. You got a BA here, you got a BA there, you got two nitrates, so that means I need to have two H's. And there are two H's here, so that's good. Now it's balanced. Now I can change this back to H2O. H2O. Okay, so I have a balanced chemical equation. That's what I need. Now let's look at the data. Uh, looks like I'm mixing some nitric acid with some barium hydroxide. So I've got some nitric acid. I'm going to write down what I have here. 637 milliliters and it's 0.532 molar. And I've got some barium hydroxide. I've got 45 milliliters, and it is 0 0.0180 molar. So 0 0.0180 molar. OK. So uh, what's the pH? Now, when they ask for the pH, they're really asking for the H plus concentration. Because uh, remember, the pH equals a negative log of the H plus concentration. Okay, excuse me, sorry. Uh, so uh, let's find that H plus concentration, shall we? You know that this stuff, HNO3, is an acid because it starts with H. It's a strong acid because all the acids that I gave you for a stoichiometry problem uh, in, in Chem 10 will be strong acids. And then all these will be uh, strong bases. So if this is a strong acid, that means the concentration of the acid is the same as the concentration of the H+. Plus. Now this is a strong base. That means the concentration of the strong base is the same as the concentration of the OH, OH-, minus, except that there are two of them here. So since there are two OH-minuses here, that means uh, the concentration of OH- minus is going to be twice the concentration of this thing. So all of that was because I need to find how many moles of H plus there are and how many moles of OH minus there are. Once I've got the moles of H plus and the moles of OH minus, you'll see that I can easily calculate the pH. Whoa, Oops, I just moved my seat over here. So uh, let's go get the moles of H plus, shall we? Uh, so the moles are uh, moles over so th th this this molarity is moles over liters, right? So that's 0.53. Oh, let me use the equation editor here. Uh, can I move this over? Yes, yes, good. Okay. So let me get to a so this 0 0.532 moles of HNO3 for one liter of HNO3, okay? And I'm going to multiply that by uh, the number of liters of HNO3 I have. Of course, they didn't give me liters, they gave me milliliters up here. So I'll have to convert. So one liter of HNO3 is a thousand milliliters of HNO3. Some of you like to use one milliliter is one times 10 to the minus three liters, and that is okay too. You could just as well do it, do it like this, one times one times 
10 to the negative 3. We'll do it like that. And now, uh, so now here I've got the leaders canceling out. Uh, I don't know how to cancel stuff out on here, so I'll just show you. This guy, so the, the, the leaders down here, canceling out with the leaders up here. Say hi, baby. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. Okay. Now, uh, now I have to, so I, I wanted the moles, right? So the moles of HNO3 are the same as the moles of H+. But uh, I've got milliliters down here. So how am I going to get rid of these milliliters? Well, it says milliliters right here, 637 milliliters. So 637 milliliters. These milliliters will cancel with these milliliters. So everything's canceled except for the moles. That's going to be uh, uh, 0. 0.532 times 637. 0. 0.532 times 637 uh, divided by 1,000. So that's going to be 0. 0.339. That's going to be 0. 0.339 moles of HNO3. And that is the same as 0. 0.339, oops, uh, 0. That is the same as 0.339 moles of H plus, right? So you might be thinking, oh, well, great. Now I can just take the negative log of this, and that will be my pH. No, that wouldn't be right, because the pH is the negative log of the H plus concentration. This is not a concentration. This is a number of moles. So why did I go get this number of moles? Well, I got this number of moles because uh, I'm going to have to compare this to the number of moles of OH minus. Right? So here we go. Um, you, you, you'll see what's what. what actually, I'll, I'll just tell you what's happening right now. So what's happening here is the H plus, the H plus will hit the OH minus, and then they will kill. Ah! Oh, uh, and then um. They, they will turn into water, and so the OH minus will, will eat up this H plus. So we're going to have to find out how much gets eaten up, right? So uh, let's find how many moles of OH minus we have, right? So how many moles of OH minus we have? Well, that, that's going to require a, a same kind of calculation. So we'll go um, point O. So we're going to start with moles because that's what we want, point O. 180 moles of uh, BaOH. Now this is a little a little harder because it's BaOH2, right? That's in one liter of the BaOH2, right? And now I got to remove the liters. So to do remove the liters, I'll put liters on top. One times ten to the power of negative three liters is one milliliter. I got to get rid of milliliters, so I have 485 milliliters, 485, 485 milliliters. But uh, that's moles of BaOH2, and unfortunately, it's not as easy as with the acid. The acid only had one H on it, so the moles of HNO3 was the same as the moles of H+. But here, I've got two OHs here, so I need to convert these moles of BaOH2 into moles of OH. And here's how you do that. Two moles of OH minus come from one mole of BaOH2. So now what does that get me? So this, this doesn't have to be done in this order. You could do this in, in, in a different way. Let me find the way that you can do it. And uh, let's see. This is going to be 0.018 times 485 times 2 divided by 1,000. So that is going to be 0 0.0175. That's 0 0.0175 moles of OH minus. So that's moles of OH minus, right? 0 0.0175 moles of OH minus. So let me just erase uh, this. OK. So. Uh, so that's moles of OH minus. So rem remember that uh, 
H plus and OH minus combine to make water. This is this is just uh, what happens in, in in nature. So, how much water are we going to make here? You know what I'm saying? Um, what's the limiting reactant? That's right. Hydroxide is the limiting reactant. So all of the hydroxide is going to get used up. This is all going to get eaten up by the H plus, right? And we're going to have some H plus left over. That leftover H plus is what will determine the pH, right? Let's let's do that. 0.339 moles. That's the H plus minus 0 0.0175, 0 0.0175 moles. It's the OH minus. This is going to equal the H plus that's left over. Right? So let's see what we got here. 0.339 minus 0 0.075. That goes to three digits after the dot. So we can only have an answer that goes three digits after the dot. And the answer is. 0.322, because I can only go three digits after the dot. So that's 0.322. That is 0.322 moles of H plus left over. So now you're thinking, hey, I could just take the negative log of this, and then that'll be my answer, right? Ah, uh, no, because this is moles of H plus. You got to divide this by uh, the volume, because because pH is the negative log of the concentration. Oh, I think I've frozen the computer. Is it still, is it still recording? Yes. Oh, I, I pressed the wrong, I pressed the bad button. Uh, um, all right, all right, so, uh, so um, this is the negative log of the H plus concentration. The concentration is moles over liters, not just moles. Okay, so how many liters of liquid have I got here anyways? I've got the sum of this plus whatever water I make here. But actually, the amount of water that you make here is so small that it, it won't even touch these guys, right? Th this would only matter if you made like one mil, if you had one milliliter here and like half a milliliter over here, then maybe this would matter. But uh, uh, usually this doesn't matter. So, uh, um, so you usually the, the amount of water you actually make is so small that it doesn't even touch the significant figures here. So what I'm saying is usually you make something like 0 0.015 milliliters. You, so 0 0.015 plus 485 is still 485. So you, these are the two that you have to add together. This is the total volume. So uh, let's go get that. 637 plus 485. You can do that in your head, huh? Yeah, I cannot do that. So 1,122, so 1,122. So that's 1,122 milliliters uh, solution total mixed and so I'm going to convert that to liters just move the dot to the left three times 1.122 liters solution right so 0.322 moles of H plus divided by 1.122 liters equals the molarity and that's going to be uh, 0.322 divided by the 1.122 uh, that's going to be point 287 molar. That's 0.287 molar uh, uh, H plus concentration. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, I can just take now the negative log of that and that'll be the answer. Well, you would be right. <laughs> All right, so uh, negative log of the, uh, so negative log of, oh, I just, uh, so uh, negative log of this. So log and then uh, log of the answer log of the answer is this, and the negative of this is 0.542. So the answer is uh, 0.542. That's my answer, right? So, um, so uh, I put a 0.542 there, and I've got an unlimited attempts on this homework, so I just see if that answer jives with what the canvas thinks it's supposed to be. You're allowed an error margin of 0 0.002. Great. So margin of it, it's with, this answer is within the margin of error. That's how you do that. I'll make a separate video for number two because number two is different.